This morning's Coffee Clutch is with Jackie Groundsell of 1230 The Women's Company. Jackie's running a business school and she uses lots of trainers and today we're talking about how having a training freelance agreement can help structure your arrangements and make the business work. So Jackie, at the moment do you have any freelance formal arrangements with your trainers? No. Right. Have you already run into some complications about having nothing in writing? Yes, I think the main thing is, is what the trainer's expectation is of um, provision at the venues. Um, so, you know, something needs to be put in place there. And I think what I've got at the moment needs to be very much clearer. Yeah. So, it's good to get going with flexible arrangements, but in the end, having nothing at all creates confusion, doesn't it? So how many trainers are you contracted with one way or another for your business school? Um, probably about 14 or 15 overall. Right. Mm. So of course, if even if they've got their own agreements, that would be 14 agreements with 14 different things about who does or does not bring the white ball. Yes. So you can yes. see there comes a point when you've got to have something. Yes. Right, so the good news is that's what we're talking about today.